Primo Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. A new 6,000 square meter production site for rail technology provider Bombardier Transportation's high power propulsion equipment was opened earlier this month. Megan van Vanguard has a story. The site, which was marked as the first propulsion site in Africa, will manufacture equipment for use in the Transnet Locomotives project, for which Bombardier is delivering 240 Bombardier Tracks Africa locomotives. It will also be home to a testing centre and will become the headquarters for Bombardier Transportation in South Africa in October. Bombardier Africa, Europe and Middle East Regional President Per Alma highlighted the local benefit of the project. When we were awarded a portion of the Transnet Locomolde project, we were very clear on one thing. We said that every single locomotive will be built in South Africa for South Africa. This facility in itself is a proof of that commitment. A commitment to the Africa Rail, commitment to Transnet, commitment to the people of South Africa, creating jobs, but also to help and support developing the industry in South Africa. Together with our local partners, which are many of them are here today, we believe we can achieve at least 60% localization. And that's a new best. And I think we're gonna get even higher as we move forward. This uh, facility here in uh, Johannesburg, we will produce all the electrical cubicles and uh, part of the electronics as well as the traction converter, which is the heart and the brain of the locomotive that we then jointly with Transnet Engineering will complete in Durban in their facility. Transnet CEO Sia Bongagama also lauded the initiative noting that it was yet another boost for local manufacturing. The locomotive is a symbol uh, of a country that is trading with other countries of the world. It is a symbol uh, of a rapidly globalizing world. It is a symbol uh, that South Africa is working. It serves as just but one example of the many transactions that Transnet has entered into with the aim of driving localization, transformation, empowerment, and supplier development in our country. This ensures that investments in local manufacturing capacity will continue. It ensures that there will be capacity building. It ensures that there will be training and further improvement of skills um, of our local employees. Almost 100 direct jobs have been created since the inception of the Tracks Africa program, with more than 40% earmarked for women. Bombardier is further partnering with technical colleges for recruitment of available talent, implementing an internal training program to multi its employees. Other news making headlines this week, the need for rope condition assessment is emphasised. The Council for Scientific and Industrial Research highlights that regular testing of samples of ropes forms a vital part of ongoing monitoring and evaluation. The rope manufacturer can predict the strength of a rope fairly accurately uh, by considering the construction of the rope, the wire size, the number of wires and the configuration as well as the material properties. However, once the rope is manufactured, there's only one way of knowing for certain what the strength of the rope is and that is through testing it. Also, once the rope is installed and in service, the condition of the rope will generally deteriorate over time. The rate of deterioration can vary greatly uh, and it may be, uh, be influenced by factors such as the operating conditions, um, how heavy the loads are, how many cycles the winder might do uh, in a typical day or a month. And because of all of these unknowns, the rate of deterioration is, cannot be predicted and to know what the remaining strength of a rope in service is, it has to be sampled and tested. That's Krimo Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.